Hi everyone, Tasha here from Stardust Gold Crochet. Today's Saturday Stitch Explorer tutorial is called the Baby Bunny Stitch. And this is a stitch I came up with um, over the weekend or over this week. Um, it's I love it, I think I'm in love with it, but not just because it's my own stitch, but because it creates these cool kind of really neat vertical looking spaces that kind of create a vertical look to it, even though it's worked horizontally which is really great. So to start off this stitch, it's worked in even numbers. So you're gonna work even numbers across and you're gonna do a starting chain of any number of even numbers, add two, and then you'll make your first stitch in the third chain from your hook. If you do a foundation single crochet, I'll leave a little link, this little eye up there will tell you and you can um, go watch my video on how to do that and then come back over here and see how to do this beautiful stitch. So let's get started. To start off, if you're doing a foundation single crochet row, you're going to chain two at the end of your foundation row. So you chain two, then we're gonna turn. We start off doing a baby bunny stitch and then a modified baby bunny stitch in the next one. So baby bunny stitch, you yarn over twice, insert your hook into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through, then you're going to slip stitch straight through the first loop. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, you'll have two loops on your hook, then you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all four on your hook. That's one baby bunny stitch. A modified baby bunny we're going to do in the next stitch. So yarn over first, insert your hook, pull up a loop, and slip stitch it straight through again. Yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. Kind of tighten it up. So I'll try to get a little bit closer. So for the next baby bunny, we rotate these two stitches. You do one baby bunny and one modified baby bunny across the entire row. Okay, so we do one more. We yarn over two times. Insert your hook into the next stitch. Pull up. Slip stitch it straight through. Go through two. Yarn over again. Insert your hook into the same stitch. Pull up a loop. And then yarn over and pull through all four. And we're next modified baby bunny is yarn over once. Insert your hook. Pull through. Slip stitch it straight through again. Yarn over and pull through two. And you repeat that until you reach the end of the row. It takes a little bit of getting used to to go ahead and slip stitch back through that first loop when you first pull up, but after a few practice rounds, I think you'll like this stitch. It ends up being a little less complicated than it seems at first. Because it's kind of like doing a double crochet mixed in with it's just your basic stitches kind of mixed and just done a little bit differently. So I'm going to work to the end and then I'll come back and show you how to do row two. And obviously this isn't row two because it's a giant swatch, but you, you can work row two. Okay, so I've worked the last two stitches. I did a baby bunny and then a modified baby bunny in that last stitch. To do row two, you're going to do the same as you did for row one. You're basically repeating row one throughout the entire pattern. So you chain two and turn. Your first stitch is going to always be a baby bunny stitch. I like saying that, baby bunny. <laughs> baby bunny. And uh, there are a lot of steps to it, but it'll take practice and it's fun once you get it. The next one will be a modified baby bunny. Like that. And you repeat these two down the entire row. Chain two, turn, chain two, turn. Just keep going like that. Very simple. Once you get the hang of it, and it creates this neat little zigzag all the way through. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave any comments below, hit the like button, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you hit the little bell that's, I believe, down over there, um, you'll get notified of all future stitch tutorial videos. Thank you guys. If you come up with a pattern for this, um, 
do a hashtag baby bunny stitch and so I can see what you come up with. I think it would look beautiful making a baby blanket with this. Have a great weekend. Happy crocheting.